Hello and welcome to the new style at Excel GCSEs. These are the ones that go from grades 9 through to grade 1. This is paper 1MA1 slash 3H. This is the third paper in the higher tier. It is a calculator paper, so we are allowed to use calculators. And we're picking up in question 18. OMA, ONB and ABC are straight lines. M is the midpoint of OA, B is the midpoint of AC, OA is equal to 6A. Okay, so we're dealing with vectors here. Uh, so we've got our OMA, which is a straight line, ONB, which is a straight line, ABC, which is a straight line. Uh, M is the midpoint, B is also the midpoint. OA is equal to 6A, so OA, so if we're going down this way, this is equal to 6 times vector A. So OB is equal to 6 times vector B, so we can draw that on our diagram so we keep track of everything. So this is 6B. And ON is equal to KB, so between O and N that's KB. I'm not going to write that on because that will get confusing. Where K is a scalar quantity, fair enough. Given that MNC is a straight line, find the value of K. Okay, so MNC is a straight line. So what am I getting at? MNC is a straight line. Okay. All right, so MNC is a straight line, so find the value of K. So obviously they want us to find this vector, and we can use that information to figure out what K is. Okay, so I suppose the first thing we need to do is to try and find out what this vector here is. So to do that we should probably go down to A and then across to C to make this vector here. So well, we can go M to A easy enough because OA is... 6a, so ma will be 3a because that's just half of this um, oa. So ma is equal to 3a because it's half of this. So we need to go across to c, so well, we can do A, B because we can just go backwards up here and then down here. So A, B is equal to, so that's A, O, which is going to be minus O, A. So that's minus 6A. And that takes us back to O. And then... 6b takes us down to b, so that's plus 6b. So that takes us to ab, so that gives us vector ab. So vector, so ac will just be 2 times ab, because b is the midpoint of ac. So ac is equal to 2 times AB, so that's minus 12A. Plus 12B. So we've got MA and we've got AC. So MC is just MA plus AC. So M A M C is equal to M A plus A B. Sorry, plus A C, which is equal to three A plus minus 12a plus 12b oops
In other words, MC is equal to this plus this. And combining these, three A plus minus twelve A is just going to be negative nine A or minus nine A. And the B's remain unchanged, so that's plus twelve B. So we've got our MC is minus 9A plus 12B. Now we're going to want to get MN, aren't we? So MN, we're just going to go up to O and down to N. And the reason we want MN is because we're told that MNC is a straight line, so that means that this line here is a scalar multiple of this line here. So to get from M to N we're going to go MO plus ON and MO is just minus half of 6A so that's minus 3A. So M MN is equal to minus 3A and then plus O N which we're given as K B and now we can put that that I've just explained is that since okay what's wrong with my keyboard okay since M C is and MN lie on a straight line MC is a scalar multiple of MN just going to quickly draw my arrows in Okay, so if um, MN is so if MC is a scalar multiple of MN, then MC is equal to some constant. Well, we're using K already, so I'm going to use C for my constant times MN. which is equal to C times minus 3A. Actually, I'm just going to say all of this. Because that is MN. Expanding out those brackets, that is equal to minus 3c a plus c k b but all of this is equal to this because it's mc so mc if that if mc is equal to this and MC is equal to this, then this is equal to this. So minus 9A, all I'm doing is saying the exact same thing a different way. So minus 9A plus 12B is one way of saying MC. So that's got to be the same thing as the other way of saying MC, which is minus 3CA plus 12B. 
No, I've already got the 12B there. That's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to say this CKB. There we go. In other words, this is equal to this. Now, if minus 9a is the same as minus 3ca, then that means that minus 9 is equal to minus 3c. In which case, c is equal to minus 9 over minus 3, which is just 3. So therefore, 12b, in fact, never mind the b's, um, if 12b is equal to ckb, then 12 is equal to ck, but we already know that c is equal to 3, so 12 is equal to 3 times k, so k is equal to 12 over 3, which is 4, so k is equal to 4, and that's the value that we were asked to find. Okay, I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in another... Oh, no, I won't see you in another video. That's the end of the paper. So, good luck with your exams.